Have you ever felt like you were missing something important that was right in front of you? Today, we're going to talk about something that many people find confusing. The subtle signs a woman wants you to notice her. It's not that these signals aren't there. It's just that they're often sent in whispers instead of shouts. Many men are afraid to misinterpret the signs for fear of ruining a friendship. Look over. If you're interested in these quiet messages, keep in mind that women like it when men take the initiative, but if you're not careful, you might miss out on the whole thing. In the spirit of Stoicism, awareness and understanding are two of the most important traits. Here are 11 sneaky signs that she likes you that will help you react with wisdom and courage. Don't miss these chances. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. Get more information by subscribing and share this video to help other people understand and connect with each other. Let's begin to figure out what these minor clues mean. Number one, she imitates your behavior. Mirroring your actions is a subtle but strong sign that she wants you to notice her. It's a natural human trait to copy the actions of people we like or want to get closer to. If she's making some of the same movements and gestures as you, she may be flirting with you without even realizing it. For example, if you're sitting across from her at a cafe and you take a sip of your drink, she may do the same thing a few seconds later, or if you lean in a little while talking, she may mirror this movement. Not by chance, these small signs are often a subconscious way of making a connection and building rapport. This mirroring can bring both people in the interaction closer together, fostering a sense of harmony and mutual understanding. From a stoic point of view, understanding this behavior requires mindfulness and awareness of the present moment. The stoics taught us to be aware of our surroundings and to understand the subtle signs in human behavior. By being attuned to the signs, you can better understand the dynamics of your interaction. Women are more likely than men to flirt with someone by mirroring their actions. Some men may be able to pick up on it, but most men will probably miss the signs completely. This makes it a great way for women to get someone's attention without being too obvious in the realm of stoicism. It's important to keep your cool and not let your emotions get the best of you when you're dealing with her. Watch what she does without judging it right away. You can choose an answer that fits with your views. If you see her copying your actions, let her know you noticed with a soft smile or a small movement that shows you're paying attention. This small act of acknowledgement can strengthen the connection and open the door to deeper conversation. Also, if you pay attention to how she mirrors your actions, you can avoid making wrong assumptions and misinterpretations. Stoicism teaches us to think clearly and logically about things without letting our emotions and biases get in the way. If you see her mirroring your actions, take it as a sign that she is interested. But continue to observe and interact in a way that is respectful and considerate. By practicing mindfulness and staying true to your values, you can make connections that are based on mutual respect and understanding. So the next time you see a woman mirroring your actions, take it as a sign that she wants you to notice her and respond with the poise and confidence of a true stoic. Enjoy the moment, be present, and let the conversation flow naturally. This will not only improve your social skills, but it will also make your relationship stronger and more fulfilling. Number two, she raises her voice. Some of you may have been in a situation like this before. You're in a room full of people, maybe it's a social event, gathering a casual get-together or even a workplace environment amidst the hum of conversations, you notice her voice cutting through the chatter louder and more pronounced than before. This shift in her speaking volume can be a strong indicator that she wants to catch your attention. As Stoics, we strive to be observant and discerning, understanding the world around us with a calm and thoughtful mind. When a woman who is typically soft-spoken suddenly raises her voice in your presence, it's not just a rand act. This change in behavior is often a deliberate attempt to stand out and make herself noticeable to you. She usually speaks in a gentle, quiet tone, but now when you're around her voice is louder, her pitch higher, and her words seem to linger in the air a bit longer. This isn't just coincidental, it's a subtle yet powerful way for her to signal that she's interested in engaging with you. She might even elongate certain words or phrases, 
making sure that her voice captures your ear amidst all the noise. If you haven't spent much time with her, if you haven't talked to her much, or if you don't know her normal behavior, this behavior becomes even more concerning. If she changes the volume of her voice, it could mean she wants to get your attention. It's her way of getting past the fact that you don't know her and making an effect on you so that the next time you hear her voice in a similar setting, you'll remember her. Rising above the rest. Take a moment to think about what's going on and why she might be acting that way. Remember that Stoicism teaches us to understand other people's feelings without being affected by them right away. If you can spot these signs, you can handle situations with wisdom and understanding. In short, if a woman talks louder than usual around you, it's probably a sign that she wants your attention. Take this observation with the calm, thoughtful attitude of a Stoic, and you'll be better able to understand and deal with how your relationships work. Number 3. She twirls her hair. Hair play may seem like a harmless activity, but it can have a deeper, more flirtatious meaning. When a woman plays with her hair, like twisting it around her fingers or brushing it behind her ear, she's often subtly indicating her interest and trying to get your attention. This seemingly harmless action is a way for women to show attraction without being too direct. For example, if you're talking to a woman and you notice that she frequent touches or adjusts her hair, you might see this as a chance to practice being aware and mindful instead of jumping to conclusions. Look at the situation and any other signals she might be sending. If she acts nervous or shy but keeps doing it, it's likely that she's interested in you and trying to tell you in a non-verbal way. The subtlety of hair play as a sign of interest is a reminder of the stoic virtue of prudence. Prudence is about making wise decisions based on careful observation and understanding. In this context, it means recognizing her hair play as a potential sign of attraction, while also considering other factors. Is she maintaining eye contact? Does she smile often when talking to you? These additional signs can help you form a clearer picture of her feelings. However, remember that Stoicism teaches us to remain calm and collected. Don't overreact or let your emotions take control. Instead, acknowledge the sign, maintain your composure, and continue the conversation with genuine interest and respect. This way, you show her that your attentive and considerate qualities that are, are deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. It's also important to consider that some women simply enjoy playing with their hair, especially if they have long hair. This is where your observational skills come into play. If she touches her hair more often than usual, when she's around you compared to others, it might be a clear sign of her interest by staying grounded and perceptive. You can better understand her intentions and respond apper appropriately. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. You can control your reaction to her behavior and how you engage with her, but you cannot control her feelings. Accept that Grace doesn't know what she wants. If she is interested, your calm and collected behavior will probably make her like you even more. If she isn't, you have shown patience and honesty, which are always important. Using these stoic principles in your interactions not only helps you understand others better, but also makes it easier to connect with them on a deeper level. So the next time you see a woman playing with her hair, take a moment to think, observe, and interact with her with wisdom and patience. By doing this, you'll be able to handle the complexities of attraction with the calm and thoughtfulness of a real Stoic. Number four. She leans in your direction. In the world of Stoicism, we put a lot of value on small things that show what someone really wants. When it comes to figuring out if a woman is interested in you, her body language can be very telling. One of the clearest signs is when she leans toward you during a conversation. Let's say you're having a conversation and she angles her body toward you. This isn't just about being close to you. It's a strong sign that she wants your attention and genuinely cares about what you have to say. Stoicism teaches us to be aware of and understand the deeper meanings behind actions, and this gesture is a great example of that. When a woman leans toward you, it's a sign that she's interested in the conversation. She might slightly tilt her head to match your movements, or she might keep her body facing yours the whole time. 
This behavior shows that she's not just being polite, she's fully engaged and interested in you as a person. It's her non-verbal way of saying, I'm here, I'm listening, and I find you interesting. Stoicism tells us to be aware and present in our relationships, to read between the lines, and to value the subtleties of human behavior. For example, if you notice that she leans toward you, you can learn more about how she feels and what she wants. This small gesture is a significant indicator that she wants to connect with you on a deeper level, both emotionally and intellectually. Consider the scenario where she not only leans in, but also maintains eye contact smiles and nods in agreement with your points. These additional cues further reinforce her interest and show that she values your opinions and presence. It's her way of creating a bond, making you feel seen and heard from a stoic perspective. These times give you a chance to connect with someone in a meaningful way. By reading and responding to her cues, you show that you are paying attention and showing respect. This exchange of interest can lead to a stronger, more genuine connection. Leaning in can also mean that you want to be emotionally close to someone. It means she feels safe around you and trusts you enough to let you into her personal space. This level of comfort is a strong sign of how she feels and can be seen as an invitation to get to know her better. It's not just about being close. It's about letting down your guard and letting a deeper connection happen. Finding a connection. If a woman leans toward you, it means she likes being around you and is interested in you. This gesture fits with the stoic ideas of mindfulness and attentiveness. By noticing these small signs, you can build a connection based on genuine interest and mutual respect. Adopt the stoic way of thinking of being present, aware, and patient, and you'll find that these small actions can lead to deep and lasting relationships. Number five, she initiates physical contact. Touch is a clear sign that a woman wants you to notice her. If she's interested in you, she may touch your arm or leg unconsciously while you're talking. This isn't just a random act. It's her way of bridging the physical gap between you two and signaling her desire to be closer to you both physically and emotionally. For example, if she crosses her legs so they're pointed in your direction, this seemingly small action is her body's way of aligning with yours, showing interest and attraction. If it's a more private moment, like when it's just the two of you, she might lightly touch your hand or arm during the chat to make a connection that goes beyond words. Put her hand on your knee. This is a more private touch that says a lot about how she feels. As someone who practices stoicism, you know how important it is to be aware and perceptive. You need to be aware of these subtle signs because they often happen without direct eye contact. She could be touching you while you're looking away or thinking about something else. Being aware of these body language cues shows that you are present and mindful. Let's break this down even more. A woman touching you means she feels safe and connected with you and wants to build a relationship. Touch is one of the most direct ways to show interest and affection. Ed with you. Her touches can be light, like a brush of the hand, or more deliberate, like putting her hand on your arm or knee. Being aware of these different types of touches can help you figure out what she wants to say. Now think about the stoic idea of being present and living in the moment. When you're with her, pay attention to the interaction at hand and notice how she moves, positions herself, and makes small gestures. These are all parts of the unspoken language of attraction. Being aware and present lets you react in a way that shows you care about and understand her feelings. Remember that being calm means finding balance and understanding. Don't think too much about every move, but also don't ignore these small signs. Maintain your calm and collected attitude while recognizing what she did with a calm and thoughtful answer. This method fits with the stoic idea of answering instead of reacting. To handle the situation with grace and understanding, keep your senses sharp and your awareness high. Touch is a strong sign that she is interested, and by noticing and appreciating these actions, you can deepen your connection in a meaningful way. Stay true to your stoic values. Being present and attentive will not only show that you're interested in her, but it will also create a space where a deeper connection can grow. If you've made it this far and are still with us, please leave a comment below or just type for sure if you relate to the content. Your feedback is very helpful and keeps us motivated to make more videos. Number six, 
She uses sweet nicknames for you. There are many subtle ways that someone is interested in you. One of the most telling and often misunderstood is when a woman uses terms of endearment. This is a common way for her to show her interest and affection. Words like honey babe and sweetie may seem normal, but they can mean a lot in the context of your interactions with them. Take a moment to think about the ideals of Stoicism. Stoicism tell. Fast to watch without judging in order to understand how people really act. We can apply this to our situation and see what happens. It's not enough to just look at these pet names. You should also look at the bigger picture. Is she pairing these affectionate words with other signs of interest? For example, is she making eye contact, leaning in closer during talks, or looking for reasons to be close to you? The tone of her voice is another important thing to pay attention to. Stoicism tells us to stay calm and aware. When she calls you babe or sweetie, does her voice soften? Is there a warmth and sincerity that makes you think she really means what she says? A woman who is interested might speak more softly and slowly, or her voice might rise. These are minor signs that her feelings are real. On the other hand, if her use of pet names seems routine or fake, it could be just for show. If it seems like she's following a script she uses with every guy, or if her tone sounds forced and fake, it's probably not real. Stoicism. We learn to let go of fake appearances and focus on what is real and true. Trust your gut and your ability to tell the difference between real and fake. Terms of endearment are a clear sign of flirting, but it's important to look at them in the context of other signs and behaviors. Staying true to the principles of Stoicism will help you handle these interactions better, spotting real interest and responding with calm confidence. Remember that understanding and patience are important virtues in both Stoicism and relationships. Number 7. She observes your face closely. One of the more minor but telling signs that a woman likes you is that she looks at your face a lot. She will look you in the eyes, watch your facial expressions as you talk, and maybe even tilt her head to get a better look at your features. This behavior makes it clear that she wants you to notice her, but there's more to this interaction than meets the eye. Looking at it through the lens of stoicism, when she looks at your face, she might be genuinely interested in what you have to say, captivated by your expressions or intrigued by how you express your thoughts. This moment of bonding shows that she is fully present and talking to you in a deeper way. This sign is important, but it shouldn't be taken by itself. It's not the strongest sign of romantic interest. Other flirting behaviors like if she looks at your face and finds ways to touch you, laughs at your jokes, or often has deep, meaningful conversations, make it more meaningful. These signs together give a better picture of her interest. To be stoic, you have to be patient and watch these signs without getting too attached to any one result. The key is to enjoy the interaction for what it is and react in a way that shows respect and fits with your values. Stay alert, be patient, and let the conversation flow naturally. This will not only help you understand her better, but it will also help you handle the situation with wisdom, emotional control, and honesty. Remember that the goal is not to jump to conclusions or try to force a result by showing stoic virtues. You can understand the subtleties of human connection and answer with care, making a space where genuine interest can grow naturally. Facial expressions are an important part of the complicated dance of human contact because they show feelings, intentions, and reactions. When someone looks at your face closely, it means they are more interested and engaged with you, People who are paying close attention to you may find it sweet or revealing, since it means they are paying close attention to your body language. Understanding the meanings and subtleties of this behavior can help you become more aware and improve the way you interact with others. Focus and interest on purpose. When someone looks at your face closely, it usually means they are interested in what you have to say. This person is probably watching how you feel, what you do, and how you act in general. This level of attention can be flattering because it shows that the person looking at you values your presence and is interested in what you have to say. Communication without words The face is a strong way to communicate. It can often show feelings and thoughts that words can't. The person is trying to figure out how you really feel and react by closely watching your facial movements, micro-expressions, 
which are small changes in the muscles in your face, can show how you're feeling and someone who is paying close attention might notice them. Building relationships and links. Having someone look closely at your face can help you connect with them more deeply and build a relationship. It shows that they are fully present and paying attention to you. This can help build trust and closeness because it makes you feel more seen and understood. Checking for authenticity. People often look closely at faces to figure out how real and honest someone is. They want to see if your words and your body language match up. It makes you more trustworthy if your facial emotions match what you're saying. If you don't act consistently, someone might question your honesty or goals. Things like culture and setting. What it means to look at someone's face closely can be different in different countries and situations. In some societies, making direct long-term eye contact is a sign of respect and interest. In others, it could be seen as rude or intrusive. Being aware of these cultural differences can help you get along better with others and better understand what they're trying to say. When someone looks at your face closely, it lets you connect and communicate on a deeper level. This shows that they are interested, paying attention, and want to learn more about you. You can improve your interactions, make relationships stronger, and speak more clearly if you notice and appreciate this attention. Understanding the tiny cues and messages that people send through their faces can make your interactions with others more enjoyable and help you make deeper connections. Number 8. She laughs when you joke. When a woman laughs at your jokes, it's not just because she finds them funny. It's a strong sign that she likes being with you and wants to spend more time with you. In today's busy world, it's easy to misinterpret signs or get lost in the chaos of social interactions. However, laughter stands out as a universal language of connection and attraction from a stoic point of view. It's important to be aware of these times and understand what they mean on a deeper level. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, like our actions, words and reactions. So when a woman laughs at your jokes, she's choosing to interact with you. This is her way of telling you that she enjoys being with you and values the interaction. When you make a funny comment at a party, she smiles, her eyes light up, and she leans in a little closer. This is more than just a polite response. It's a clear sign that she feels good around you and is drawn to your energy. Stoicism tells us to watch these interactions without judging or second-guessing ourselves. If she responds with a flirtatious or playful comment, it's an even stronger sign that she's enjoying the conversation and wants it to go on. Laughter can also mean that she's willing to overlook any small mistakes or awkward moments. There are times when our jokes or conversations don't quite land. If she keeps laughing and interacting with you, it means she's interested in who you are. Besides those times, this fits nicely with the stoic idea of being real and not trying to hide who you are. Women like exchanges that are real and unfiltered, and laughter is a sign of that. If she laughs at you, it could mean that she sees you as someone who can make her feel good in a tough world. Being with someone who can make us laugh and smile is very important. If she laughs at your jokes, she's connecting you with good feelings, which is a strong link. That doesn't mean you have to be funny, but it does mean that your presence and how you make her feel are important in the big picture of how people connect with each other. Laughter is a beautiful thread that brings people together and makes relationships stronger. The next time a woman laughs at your joke, know that she's loving being with you and wants you to notice her. Stoic wisdom says to enjoy these times by being present, being yourself, and letting your true self show. Remember, that it's not just about the jokes, it's about the joy and connection you're making with each other. People often say that laughter is the best therapy. When someone laughs at your jokes, it means that they connect with you, enjoy them, and find your sense of humor funny. This simple act can be a strong sign of getting along and loving each other. Laughter can improve relationships, whether they are romantic, friendly, or professional. It can also help people make memories and feel closer to each other. Knowing why and how someone laughing at your jokes is important can help you handle social situations better and make stronger connections with other people. Sign of a connection 
The fact that someone laughs at your jokes often means that they feel at ease and linked with you. It means they enjoy being with you and are happy to be there. Making a connection. Sharing a laugh can be a great way to get to know someone better. People can connect with each other and understand each other better, which makes interactions more enjoyable and important. Love for each other. If someone constantly laughs at your jokes, it could mean that they like and care about you. That's a good sign in both personal and business relationships because it means they enjoy your sense of humor and find you funny. Making memories that are good. Laughter makes memories and good times, which are important for any relationship. You and the other person can remember these happy times together, which will make your relationship stronger. Getting more confident. When people laugh at your jokes, it makes you feel better about yourself and makes you more likely to be open and honest. This positive feedback loop can help you get along better with others and make conversations more fun for everyone. If you understand and value the value of shared laughter, you can improve your relationships and make deeper ties with the people around you. Number nine, her eyes stay on you. When a woman looks at you for a long time, it's clear that she wants you to notice her. This isn't just a quick glance or a casual look. It's a deep, long-lasting gaze that lasts much longer than usual. When a woman is interested in someone, her eyes will naturally be drawn to that person, almost as if she's trying to understand them on a deeper level. Imagine you're at a friend's party and notice a woman across the room who keeps looking at you. At first you might think it's just a coincidence, but then you realize that her gaze is fixed on you the whole time. This prolonged eye contact is a strong sign that she likes what she sees and is trying to get your attention. It's often a subconscious action that she might not even be fully aware of. If you catch her staring and she quickly looks away, starts talking really quickly or cracks jokes to lighten the mood, it could mean she's trying to hide how she feels. This reaction is a mix of excitement and nervousness, which is common when someone realizes they were being admired. This behavior is a form of flirting, a way for her to show interest without saying it directly. It's a subtle dance of body language that says a lot. Stoicism means valuing the present moment and the real connections we make with other people. For example, long eye contact isn't just a sign of physical attraction. It's an invitation to connect on a deeper level. It's about reading the subtleties of human interaction and responding with grace and poise. Enjoy the moment and let your actions show how calm and sure you are inside. This shows that you are paying attention and being polite, and it also shows that you understand the hidden language of attraction. By keeping a cool head during these times, you can make deep connections that go beyond the surface, building a base of mutual respect and understanding. So the next time a woman looks at you for a long time, take it as a compliment and a chance to have a quiet conversation that could lead to something deeper. When it comes to interacting with other people, making eye contact is very important. If someone looks at you and doesn't move, it means they are interested in you and want to connect with you on a deeper level. This effect can be interesting, comforting or even scary at times. Understanding the subtleties of maintaining eye contact can help you get along better with others by letting you pick up on the hidden messages they are sending. A sign of attraction and interest. Eye contact that lasts for a long time is often a sign of interest or desire. If someone looks at you and doesn't say anything, it could mean that they find you interesting or attractive. This can be a flirty way to say hello or a way to show respect. Measure of how engaged and attentional people are. If someone keeps their eyes on you while you talk, it means they are interested and paying attention. They seem to be fully focused on what you are saying which means they care about what you have to say. It can also mean that you respect and care about them. How to show confidence. Making eye contact shows that you are sure of yourself. It means that the person is okay with you and what's going on. Making eye contact with confidence can help people feel more at ease with each other and build trust and connection. Reading about feelings and plans. People often say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. They can tell you a lot about how someone feels and what they want. You can get a sense of how someone feels and what they might be thinking by looking at how often, 
how intensely and in what situation they make eye contact. Differences based on culture and situation. In different countries and situations, maintaining eye contact can mean different things. In some countries, making direct eye contact is seen as an honest and sure of yourself move, while in others it could be seen as rude or aggressive. It's important to know these changes so that you can correctly understand eye contact in different situations. Understanding how important it is to maintain eye contact can greatly improve your ability to connect with others. To find out what someone is interested in, how engaged they are, how confident they are, how they're feeling, and how to deal with cultural differences. Being aware of the messages that eye contact sends without words can help you have deeper and more meaningful conversations in both personal and business settings. Number 10. She shows her vulnerability. People often think that being strong means not being hurt, so being vulnerable can be seen as a sign of weakness, but real courage and power come from being able to accept and talk about our weaknesses. In this way, we make real relationships, motivate others and help ourselves grow. Knowing how to be vulnerable and doing it regularly can help you build stronger relationships, show more understanding and live a more genuine life. Connections that are real. Being vulnerable lets you connect with others in a real way. Other people are more likely to be open and honest with us when we share our fears and weaknesses. Being open with each other builds a stronger bond and trust in partnerships. Emotional strength. Accepting that you are vulnerable makes you more emotionally strong. When we recognize and talk about our feelings, we deal with them in a healthy way. This practice makes it easier for us to deal with problems and gets better at getting back on track after a failure, helps people feel empathy and compassion. Making yourself vulnerable helps you understand and care about other people. When someone shows their weaknesses, it makes us think of the things we all go through as humans. This understanding makes the world a kinder and more helpful place, which makes other people more sympathetic. Boosts personal growth. Being open and vulnerable is a strong way to grow as a person. Making us face our fears and get out of our comfort zones is what it does. This process leads to learning more about yourself, finding out more about yourself, and eventually personal growth. Gives others hope. People can be very inspired when someone shows how vulnerable they are. Being honest about your problems and fears takes a lot of guts. This brave action can inspire others to be honest about their own weaknesses, spreading honesty and courage throughout a community. In a society that values being strong and unbreakable, being open about being weak is a very brave and strong thing to do. It makes real connections possible, builds emotional strength, encourages empathy and kindness, boosts personal growth and motivates others. Accepting and talking about our flaws makes our own lives better and makes the world a better place to live more honestly and with kindness. From a tough point of view, she shows how weak she is. To be truly courageous, Stoicism teaches us that we must be open and honest about our feelings, and that includes showing vulnerability. When a woman shows you her vulnerable side, it means she feels safe and at ease with you. This trust is a deep form of respect, and in the world of Stoicism, respect is the foundation of all meaningful and genuine relationships. You may be wondering how she advertises her vulnerability. One of the most interesting and subtle ways is through her body language, especially by exposing her neck. This may seem strange at first, but it's a very natural thing for people to do. The neck is one of the most vulnerable parts of the body, and by showing it, she subconsciously shows that she is open and trusting. This is an old biological signal that she feels safe with you. Imagine this situation. During your conversation with her, she gently tilts her head to the side, revealing her neck. This isn't an accident. It's a conscious, if unconscious, way of saying, I trust you. In a world where many people hide their weaknesses, this small action says a lot about how comfortable she is with you from a stoic point of view. Recognizing and respecting this vulnerability is important. It tells us to watch what we say and do to make sure we keep the people we care about safe and supported. When a woman shows you her neck, you should not only notice her, but also try to understand her and see her as she really is.
This act of vulnerability is a strong one that should be met with empathy, respect and understanding. Showing vulnerability can also come out in other ways. She might tell you personal stories, talk about her fears and dreams, or ask for your advice on things that are important to her. These actions show that she values your opinion and sees you as someone she can rely on in stoic terms. This a strong, long-lasting relationship is built on trust and openness between both partners. So the next time a woman bares her neck or tells you something very personal, remember that it's more than just body language or casual conversation. It's a sign of trust and a window into how she really feels. Accept this openness with compassion and respect, and you'll build a stronger, more real relationship. This method not only makes your relationship stronger, but it also fits with the stoic idea that relationships should be based on equal respect and real emotional connection. Number 11. She regularly moves closer to you. Being close to someone is a strong sign of interest in body language and human interaction. If a woman keeps trying to be close to you, it's probably because she wants your attention. This action can be subtle and almost unconscious, making it a great example of how small gestures can mean a lot. If she's always drawn to you, whether you're standing or sitting, she might be flirting without being too obvious. If you notice that every time you look up, she's a little closer to you than before, she might choose to sit next to you and then slowly move even closer, maybe saying she needs to hear you better or share something on her phone. Stoicism says to observe without judging and see things as they are. If you follow this principle, you'll be able to pick up on these subtle cues more easily. For example, if her shoulder is pointed at you, it means she's interested in and focused on you. If she takes a deep breath when she's close to you, it means she feels at ease with your presence and is drawn to being close to you. Stoicism isn't just about being strong and able to control your emotions. It's also about understanding people and how relationships work on a deeper level. When you see these signs, remember to stay calm and grounded. Don't jump to conclusions. Instead, look at more than one sign to get a better idea of what she's trying to say. In the spirit of Stoicism, this balanced approach lets you respond thoughtfully and respectfully, strengthening your connection without misinterpreting her actions. In essence, a woman's consistent efforts to be near you are usually one of the strongest signs that she's interested in more than just casual conversation. Keep an eye out for these subtle but telling signs and let your understanding of Stoicism guide your responses with wisdom and poise. As we come to the end of our journey today, I hope you gained some clarity in the subtle signs a woman might use to catch your attention. Awareness and understanding are two important virtues that help us navigate the complicated world of human relationships. By watching with a calm mind and responding with wisdom, we not only improve our relationships with others, but also our understanding of ourselves. If this video has helped you understand the quiet whispers of attraction, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so to get more videos about the subtle art of human connection. Please share this video with friends or anyone else who might benefit from a stoic view on understanding interest signals. If you really connected with what we talked about, please leave a comment below or just type 100% to let me know. Also, don't forget to watch the recommended videos on the screen for more content that can help you deal with life's subtle cues with Stoicism. Grace and Smarts Thanks for watching. Remember that the loudest facts are often revealed in The Quiet Moments of Observation. See you next time. Stay interested and calm and approach every encounter with the calm and thoughtfulness of a real Stoic.